What's up everybody welcome to another Hans Tech Talk Tech Review video. Today I have a portable power station. This one is from Opest. This one is a solar powered portable power station. Okay, this one actually became an integral part of our photo shoot these days because after we have started this Hunt Studio Pro, we are going outside a lot and taking a lot of pictures. We are doing a lot of photo shoot with models. We are taking landscapes and we actually require a big monitor, a 24 inch monitor to go around with us and it's pretty difficult to power that monitor everywhere so we were looking for a portable power station and yeah this one is a solar powered one so we don't have to worry about charging it we had to spend around 500 us dollars to get one and i don't think there are other power stations portable power stations solar powered ones within this price range okay let's start the video let's check through what we get inside the box how it performs but before everything, if you end up liking this video, if you find this video helpful, then please don't forget to click on the like button. And if you really want to watch more videos like this, if you really like true content, honest content, then please subscribe to this channel. Well, let's start our review video. This solar powered power station comes in two boxes. One box contains the solar panels and in another box you will get the power station along with the cables and the charging adapter. Inside the cables box there is a 3 pin cord for the adapter and a regular 12 volt cigarette adapter. In another box you will get a 24 volt 4 ampere that means 96 watt adapter. Build quality of this adapter is good enough and this adapter actually comes from a very famous adapter manufacturer. Time to check the power station. Before we check the front interface, let me show you. There is a charging port on the right, a LED lamp with multiple functions at the rear and a heavy duty fan on the left. We will talk about this fan later. This Opus portable power station has a better, much safer LIFEPO4 lithium ion phosphate battery which offers 600 watt output and it has a total capacity of 595 watt hour. It comes with a lot of ports including two AC power ports, three DC power ports, two of those are USB A ports and one of those is a USB C port which supports PD power delivery fast charging. Interestingly, they have also added a 12 volt cigarette adapter. There is a power button with a nice subtle LED light around it. There is a big LCD panel which shows a lot of necessary information when the ports are in use and when required. Let's try that 110 volt AC port. I'm going to charge my Surface laptop. After plugging it in, we have to enable this power source with its dedicated on off button. I like the idea of having a separate on off switch for every power source or for every power port. As the Surface Laptop is powered off and is almost fully charged, it is not drawing enough power. Okay, you can see the portable power station display can show how long will this power station survive or be able to provide power at this rate of usage. Now I am going to add my iPad. I will charge it through the USB-C port and you can see the both together, I mean that Surface Laptop and this iPad together has started to draw more power and expected usage time has now dropped below 6 hours. Let's turn the AC power ports off. Now this power station is only charging the iPad and the display shows a longer battery life. Let us put more load on it. I will add two other devices through the available USB-A ports. I have added an iPhone 13 Pro and another Android smartphone. Now all these accessories together is draining 60 watt and at this pace this power station will survive 4 hours. I mean this power station battery is now only at 57% and at this pace it will provide 4 hours. So usually I get around 7 to 9 hours of usage time when I charge all of my devices from 0 to 100. Okay, another thing is that fan. I must mention about that. The fan on the left starts spinning once you start using this power station and based on the wattage, the fan speed changes. I have never experienced any annoying fan noise cause I mostly use this one outside but in my studio, in a quiet environment, I can easily hear fan noise once it starts drawing too much power. 
Okay, let's go outside. Let's check how we use this power station. How we recharge it with its solar panel. The first time when we have charged this solar panel, it took awfully long time and actually it was our mistake. We have placed the solar panel on a flat surface, which is no way recommended. If you want the fastest charging speed with its solar panel, then you have to hang the solar panel vertically. Even in a winter morning, we have managed to get around 60 to 65 watt charging speed in this position. When we are using it outside, we mostly use this portable power station for our outdoor shooting and we use a 24 inch monitor through the AC port, charge a MacBook Air through the USB-C port, some of our other smartphones and cameras are always plugged in through the USB-A ports. We have never ran out of battery and we take this solar panel outside with us and keep it charging while we are using this portable power station. Okay, what do you think? Actually, we have never used the adapter that came with this uh, Opus portable power station to charge this one. We are using it totally on solar. But as far as I know, we can charge it with uh, that uh, power adapter and with that USB-C port and together combined, it will get 156 watt, which is really fast enough. But we are getting around 80 watt on solar. So we are pretty happy. If you have any questions about this product, then please let me know. I will be pretty happy to reply. That's all about this product. And once again, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button. If you want to watch more videos like that, then subscribe and share the love.